Hello everyone, TMDK here and in this video I am attempting a fire types only challenge in Pokemon Fire Red. The team I will be using consists of Charizard, Ninetales, Rapidash, Arcanine, Flareon and Magmar and together we will conquer this game. The rules are simple, no items allowed in battle, outside of battle we can, HM lads can be used, these are Pokemon that can learn a lot of HM moves and will only be used for that purpose, no glitches, hacks and cheats that can help me win the game, but I did have to cheat some Pokemon in, Vulpix and Magmar because they're leaf green exclusives and Ponyta because you can only get Ponyta after the 7th gym and I wanted to get him a little bit earlier so we can have more playtime with them and yeah, have more playtime in general with the full team. That's understandable, right? Let's go. We skip the intro and get to choose our name, TMDK of course. For our rival's name, we choose the name Gary like in the animated series. We spawn in our house and our adventure begins. Professor Oak takes us to his lab and we get to choose our first Pokemon, Charmander of course, because it's a fire type challenge. We give it the nickname Charlie, a very nice name in my opinion. Gary takes Squirtle of course and he wants to battle immediately. Squirtle is too busy using Tail Whip that he doesn't notice we're taking him out with Scratch. Squirtle goes down, if Gary is defeated and we leave the lab. Straight to Brock and his Rock type Pokemon. At level 14 we already know the move Metal Claw which is super effective but because it's no stab move, it doesn't do that much damage. We get taken out by Onyx and Rock Tomb a couple of times, but we win eventually and Brock goes down. His first Judoot isn't that hard, he's too busy using Defense Colonel, we take him out with Metal Claw. Onyx is his next Pokemon and for some reason he's only using Bind, which gives us the opportunity to take him out with Metal Claw. I don't know why, but we did it guys. Brock is defeated, Boulder Badge is ours. We catch our second Pokemon, Vulpix, and we give her the nickname Chloe. She's going to become a Ninetales and a crucial Pokemon in our team. We defeat some Team Rocket members in Mount Moon, they're not that strong, so we take them out quite easily. When we get out of the cave and enter Cerulean City, we come across Gary and his Squirtle. His Squirtle with his water gun takes me out. Maybe a few times, but not that much. And um, yeah, we're taking we're taking him out not long after. His Pidgeotto is using Sand Attack, so I swap in Charmeleon because my accuracy is too low against Squirtle. I'm trying everything. Metal Claw is not very effective. Ember is not very effective. Scratch, they all do about the same damage, but I managed to burn Squirtle, and he goes down of burn eventually. Pichado comes back in, he goes down really fast, Radata isn't strong at all and Abra doesn't know any moves but teleport and he goes down as well. Gary is defeated. Now the real challenge is the second gym, our first real challenge I must say. Staryu and Starmie both know Water Pulse which does a lot of damage against us. They one shot us many many times, I need to level up, I use different tactics, smokescreen with Charmeleon, confusion ray with Vulpix, but it is at level 29, Vulpix learns the move flamethrower which gives us a fighting chance, flamethrower even not very effective, it does a lot of damage with its 95 power and the aim is to do as much damage as I can with Charmeleon, take out Staryu as I can, if I can, and do as much damage as I can against Starmie so that Vulpix can take out Starmie with Flamethrower. And now I managed to smoke screen Starmie a lot actually, so that its accuracy is as low as possible. Now Vulpix just needs to take it down with Flamethrower. I also confuse him, which makes it even harder for him to attack. He heals up but we manage to crit flamethrower and keep on flamethrowering and manage to take out Starmie. We get the assist ticket from Bill, enter the boat and fight Gary once again. Now we're pretty high level at this point because we needed to to defeat Misty so Gary isn't that much of a challenge anymore. Maybe he's war turtle but we managed to confuse him and burn him so we practically disable him to attack and take him out. The next of Gary's Pokemon are 
that good yet so we defeat Gary quite fast and move on we get cut from the captain catch our next team member Ponita and give him the nickname Roy we catch an HM lad Meowth for cut we are fighting Lieutenant Surge and his electric type Pokemon we're fighting with Roy our new Pokemon and we take out his first two with Roy, very easily. Pikachu and Voltorb aren't that strong and we take them out with Ember. Raichu is a bit stronger and he takes me out with Shockwave and a quick attack. Chloe comes in and I want to try and defeat Raichu with Ember because Flamethrower might be too OP because we're level 30 already but that gets me killed. So Charlie needs to finish the job with one more Ember. We find Gary in the Pokemon Tower and we battle. His Pijotto uses Sand Attack and our accuracy is too low to get an attack off so we swap in Charlie to take him out. War Turtle is a tougher opponent, we use Smoke Screen so that his Water Gun maybe miss a couple of times but we still get taken out by it. Chloe comes in and he finishes War Turtle with Flamethrower. Now the last Pokemons of Gary aren't that strong, Rolit goes down easily with Stomp, Execute is uh, weak against fire type moves and Kadabra goes down with a crit from Ember. Gary is defeated. We catch our fourth team member, a Growlithe, and give it a nickname Gizmo. We enter the fourth gym to fight Erika and her grass type Pokemon. We're fighting with Gizmo in the beginning but get taken out by Acid from Victory Bell. Roy comes in and he finishes the job. Tangela is the next Pokemon. Tangela is not that strong and gets taken out quite fast. And the last Pokemon is Vileplume. Vileplume is a bit stronger than the previous Pokemons. She gets burns, but Erika uses a full heal. We get Trapper with Fire Spin and take her out slowly with Ember. We get our 15 member Eevee and give it a nickname Pyro. We buy a few Firestones from the Pokemon Market in Saldan City and evolve a few of our Pokemon. Chloe into Ninetales because it's been on our team for quite some time. We evolve Eevee into Flareon because we can only use fire type Pokemon. And I decide to not evolve Gizmo into Arcanine because it has been just added to our team and we need to play a little bit more with him. We battle Giovanni in the end of the Team Rocket hideout and I'm fighting with Gizmo and we take out his Onyx and Rhyhorn quite easily with the move Bite. This next Pokemon is a Kangaskhan which is a tougher opponent and I don't do any damage against him with Ember from Gizmo. Pyro's moves are pretty trash at the moment, so he can't do anything either. Roy comes in and he flinches Kangaskhan with Stomp and take him out. Now I decide to evolve my Gizmo into a Arcanine. I get the move Flamethrower from the game corner and learn it to Pyro and a few more Pokemon of my team. We go to the 5th gym to fight Koga. Muck is a strong opponent as always and he takes me out a couple of times, but we win not long after. The first coughing goes down really fast and the fight with Muck is a long and yeah annoying battle. He's healing up a couple of times, he's upping his defense with asset armor, his evasiveness with minimize, he's doing a lot of damage with sludge but we fight with different Pokemon. Pyro here is doing a lot of damage but takes him out, yeah quite nice. Coughing goes down easily as the first one, another surprise here, Weezing is the last Pokemon, he might be a real challenge, we get smoke screened and toxic and we get taken out but do a lot of damage, Ninetales takes out Weezing with a last flamethrower, we get the move toxic. We get Surf in the Safari Zone and fight Gary once again in Sylvco. His Pidgeot is using Feather Dance, so I need to swap in Charmeleon. Charmeleon gets taken out by Wing Attack, so I need to swap in Roy back again. And that takes him out. On the Blastoise, we use the Stomp Tactic. We managed to flinch Blastoise a couple of times, but he takes me out. He's low enough, so now I can take him out with Gizmo and take down. Now Blastoise is gone, the rest of his team is quite easy. We take out Crowlit quite fast. Execute is a one-shot and Alakazam might do something with 
Psychic, but is just using Future Sight and gets taken out. In the end, we fight Giovanni once more. Now with his new Pokemon in the Reno, he takes out my Roy because I was low health from the beginning. Chloe comes in and the tactic I use with her is a Confusion Ray and then Flamethrower. We managed to take two Pokemon out with this tactic, but then get taken out by his Kangaskhan because we're poisoned and we're slowly losing health. I did manage to confuse Kangaskhan though, and I managed to take him out after with Charlie. Nidoqueen is his last Pokemon, Charlie gets taken out, and you see Flamethrower is the spammable move and Nidoqueen goes down. Sabrina and her Psychic Tykes are up and we get taken out by Alakazam and Psychic with a Calm Mind boost a couple of times but we win not long after. Her Psychic Pokemon don't have that high of a physical defense stat so we do a lot of damage with Stomp. Chloe comes in and we go for the same tactic I always use with her, Confusion Ray and Flamethrower. This tactic is very effective but as you can see Alakazam with Calm Mind and Psychic takes me out one shot pretty crazy right Charlie comes in and I managed to use a few smoke screens because Elakazam is only using future sight which allows me to take out Elakazam quite easily with flame tower he's burned as well which helps of course Sabrina goes down and our Charlie evolves into a Charizard our Charizard learns the move wing attack and we also learn it to move fly we catch in a Tim Lad, Horsey with a Master Ball, the best seahorse that has ever lived, and learn it to move Surf. We catch our last and sixth team member, Magmar, and give it the nickname Connor. We get the key in the Pokemon Mansion, enter the seventh gym to fight Blaine and his fire types. Fire against fire. This should be interesting. We use Sunny Day to up our fire moves, but get taken out by Growlit. I use Roy with the OG Stomp tactic, which we always use. Chloe comes in and we take out Ponyta with Flamethrower. We go for the tactic Confusion Ray Flamethrower. It's the best thing we can do at this point, and Rapid Dash. Thanks these flamethrowers of course, it's not very effective. She heals up a couple of times with Hyper Potions from Blaine, but it's a long battle but we can take her out eventually. Arcanine is the toughest Pokemon of Blaine. We go for the Confusion Ray flamethrower tactic, it's very effective, he gets very low and we manage to take him out with a bite from Pyro. We get the move Fire Blast. Here's a representation of the movesets of my team at this moment in time. Our last gym battle is the fight with Giovanni and his ground type Pokemon. His first Rhyhorn does a lot of damage with Earthquake and takes out two of my Pokemon. But I managed to finish him off with Pyro. Then Dugdrio of course comes in and he knows also the move Earthquake which does a lot of damage, but we managed to take him out. We are fighting with Chloe, Confusion Ray, Flamethrower tactic, but we get taken out easily as well. It's a tough battle. Nido Queen kills uh, Gizmo. Charlie is our final Pokemon. Earthquake doesn't affect Charlie, which is a blessing. And we managed to take out the rest of his team. We have no Fire Blast left. So managed to crit the Flamethrower and defeat Giovanni. And we get Earthquake. We must fight Gary one more time before we can enter the league. His Blastoise, as always, is a pain in the ass. And does a lot of damage with his water type moves. And he takes me out many, many times. I need to level my Pokemon, evolve some of my Pokemon, and then we're able to defeat Gary. But it's not easy, let me tell you. I managed to get Sunny Day off with Magmar, and then Chloe comes in to use Confusion Ray and Flamethrower, which does a lot of damage, and I'm able to take out the first two of Gary's Pokemon. Blastoise, I managed to burn him at least, but then get taken out. Now, I use a few Pokemon to do damage on Blastoise, Roy and Pyro, and I get him 
as low as I can and when I swap in Charlie he faints of burn. Now the last Pokemon of Gary's team aren't that strong, Growlithe goes down pretty fast, Execute is a one shot as always and Alakazam with Combine and Psychic does a lot of damage. I have one Pokemon left, with 6 health we managed to defeat Alakazam, crazy. First of the Elite Force, Lorelei with her Ice type Pokemon. Now in the beginning we can't even pass her Dugong which is quite crazy, it's a tough challenge because most of her Ice type Pokemon are also water type Pokemon. We learn some moves like Slash to Charlie, but that doesn't do that much damage, so we swap that away with Earthquake. Double team goes to Pyro. Gizmo learns Aerial Ace in extreme speed. Roy gets Toxic, and Connor learns Confusion Ray as we level them up as well. We get a bit further, but she also has a Lapras and a Slow Bro, and it's quite crazy, but we eventually managed to defeat her. It's a scuff battle, but you'll see. It's um, we get very lucky a couple of times, and as you can see, the Dugon in the beginning, I just want to keep it confused all of the time and use Sunny Day and get it as low as possible, do as much damage, get it down eventually. But as you can see, the full restores always come at the <laughs> at the wrong time but we managed to take out Dugong with Earthquake from Charlie. Cloyster is a stalling Pokemon with barely an attacking move, only dive I believe and we managed to take it out easily. Now with Lepras I swap in Chloe and I use Confusing Ray. Now she uses Confusing Ray as well so it's a confusing battle. I use Will-O-Wisp to burn uh, Lapras and yeah with the help of uh, Confusion and Burn we managed to take out Lapras. Slowbro is a tanky Pokemon which constantly uses the move Surf which one shots uh, my Pokemon as you can see. Roy managed to get Toxic off which is crucial in this fight. I do a lot of damage with Bite and manage to take out Slowbro because I flinch him two times which is crazy. Now Jinx is the last Pokemon, that's an easy one, Flamethrower and we have defeated Lorelei eventually. Bruno is our next opponent and we lose the first try but manage to defeat him the second try. I'm fighting with Magmar and I'm using Sunny Day to up my fire moves. And I use Flamethrower on the Onyx, which does a lot of damage, and I managed to take him out with a crit. Hitman Chan, I swap in Gizmo to use Flamethrower while the Sunny Day is still up, and I managed to take him out. Machamp comes in and he takes me out with a Cross Chop. I swap in Charlie to use Flamethrower with Sunny Day, but Machamp tanks it and he takes me out with one Rock Tomb, of course. He also takes out my Pyro, so I need to swap in Chloe and go for the Confusion Ray tactic. Confusion Ray Flamethrower, he heals up with a full restore, but I manage to burn him again and take him out. The second Onyx is up, so I go for the Connor, Sunny Day and Flamethrower tactic again. I do a lot of damage, but get taken out by Earthquake. Roy takes out Onyx with Flamethrower, Hitmonlee is the last Pokemon, Sunny Day is still up, come on Flamethrower does a lot of damage, Chloe needs to finish the job, a full restore of course, Confusion Ray, and we take him out with Flamethrower, defeat Bruno. The next opponent is Agata and her Ghost type Pokemon, and we managed to take her out first try. We're lucky in this run because we have special attackers and we can actually do something against their ghost type Pokemon. So we don't struggle this time like in my previous challenges. The Gengars are still annoying though with their Confusion Ray. My Connor and Pyro gets taken out easily because we can't even get an attack off. Roy needs to finish the job with a flamethrower. The Golbat goes down quite easily with flamethrower. It's a flamethrower battle actually. Arbok comes in. I use Earthquake because I think it's super effective. It might do a lot of damage, but Fire Blast does a lot more. He barely survives. I'm guessing one health or something. Agata uses a full restore of course, but 
we take him out eventually with Flamethrower. The next Gengar is up. Sludge Bomb and Hypnosis. Hy I'm so lucky he misses Hypnosis and I can take him out with Flamethrower, but we're poisoned though, so we're going to faint, but we managed to crit Haunter with a Flamethrower and defeat Agatha. Last of the Elite Four is Lance and his Dragons. Zeradactyl is a very strong Pokemon with his ancient power, he takes me out one shot numerous times, his Dragonite because fire moves are not very effective, his Gyarados as well, it's, it is a very hard battle and I need to gain a lot of levels to win this fight. Against Gyarados I'm using Connor with Confusion Ray and Sunny Day and the move Fire Blast. Fire Blast is not very effective but it still does a lot of damage, I get him burned and take him out. The next Pokemon is Aerodactyl. He is the real challenge to take out. I swap in Gizmo to maybe flinch him with Bite, but that has no effect and he takes me out. Connor comes in and he gets one shot at, but I manage to burn Aerodactyl with Flame Body. This might help us. Now Pyro manages to tank Ancient Power, which is quite crazy, like it's a Flareon, a little Eevee, and he manages to take out Ancient Power tank ancient power but it's pretty cool right Roy comes in and I use bounce to let Dragon Knight get confused by its own outrage and now that he's confused I managed to paralyze him with bounce and take him out with stomp the last two Pokemon of Lance are Dragonairs and I take the first one out with stomp and the second one I want to use toxic but I get taken out by Hyper Beam. Nine Tails comes in, and this is a very long battle. I'm using Confusion Ray. I managed to burn him with Will O Wisp, and I want to take him out with Flamethrower. It's not very effective though, and he gets healed up with two full restores. It's long and an annoying battle. He's just stalling at this point, but he will go down with Flamethrower eventually. This is the second full restore and he's going down. Lance is defeated. Our last battle is the battle with Gary, the champion. Blastoise is a strong opponent as always, but now his Arcanine and his Alakazam have grown strong as well. And even when we get past the Blastoise, the Arcanine is the last Pokemon and he's a tough opponent because we have lost most of our Pokemon and we get taken out many, many times. But we eventually win though. We're fighting with Connor and we're using Fire Blast. He swaps in Rhydon to use Earthquake on me. But we get a sunny day off and do a lot of damage before he takes me out. Charlie comes in and he finishes Rhydon off with fire moves after a full restore. Now Blastoise comes in. Okay, here it begins. Roy comes in and I need to hit Toxic first try, which I do. I use Bounce to let Toxic do its work because every time it does more damage, we get taken out by Hydro Pump. I swap in Chloe to use Confusion Ray to make him hurt in confusion so that he doesn't use hydro pump i get him pretty low he uses his berry so that gary doesn't use a full restore he's low enough now and he gets taken out by toxic blastoise is down okay pidgeot goes down easily with flamethrower alakazam might be strong with uh calm might and psychic he doesn't use Calm Mind, he just uses Psychic, he takes out my Gizmo, he uses Future Sight so we can take him out with Flamethrower. Executor is stalling, he barely survives, full restore, we're using Flamethrower, another full restore, but we take him out with Bite and Flamethrower. Arcanine is the last Pokemon, I still have Pyro and Charlie left, I do a bit damage with bite and now charlie needs to finish the job i used fly i should have used earthquake from the beginning i thought it didn't do that much damage but as you can see now it does a lot more than i thought and we take arcanine out gary is defeated we put our pokemon in the hall of fame we did it guys thanks for watching today we did the fire types only challenge in pokemon fire red it was a challenging but fun run we faced some difficulties with Lorelei and our water ice type pokemon lands and his dragons and the blast toys from gary and of course misty and her star me and star you 
But other than that, I think we did pretty good. So thanks again for watching, guys. We hit 2,000 subscribers. I can't thank you enough for the continuous support. I think 2,000 is a big milestone. And I can't wait what the future is holding. Thank you so much. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. This has been TMDK. See you next time.